There was a time when I thought the Zergs would not be doing well in the CSL. But look where we are now. Zerg, Zerg, Zerg everywhere. Yeah, they they got all got put down in the loser bracket. Wait, wait, I was thinking of the GSL. <laughs> Never mind. We just have a lot of Zergs um, here at, I guess, the forum in which I cannot name, according to uh, Dahl, I think. The forum that should be remain nameless. Indeed. Starts with a P, ends in any arcade. It's related to a webcomic, you may have heard of it. <laughs> this starts with a P, ends in any arcade. Perfectly fine. Uh, interesting. Can it go for a slightly earlier full gas than, um, oh, I guess Tanner just hashed first, never mind. Um, but I think that was a 13 pool. Correct me if I'm wrong? I believe it was. Okay, so slightly earlier. It's going to allow him to... Could have been a 14-13. It's uh, also sort of standard. You get, like, slightly faster spawning pool, I think. And that's kind of the edge that he's going to need here, because um, that hatch went down, and he needs to respond to it. it. Looks like he's banking a larva, too. Actually, he didn't bank that first one, so oh, Lord, get mind. The timing is all off, because it's 14-13 to me, so... Whatever. Oh, he's pulling off gas all the way. Hmm. It's an interesting choice. Okay, Kenick does know that this is a ZBZ, not a ZBP, right? <laughs> well, it just means he's uh, going to be sticking on Ling until he gets his expansion up. Yeah, I guess so. Which I think is a curious choice, because I don't see him being able to punish uh, this hatch first with just Ling on this map. No, he kind of needs to scare Tanner into an overreaction, and that requires Tanner to make a mistake. So a little bit out of his control, but we'll see how it happens. Oh, it looks like Kenny decided to put back on gas immediately here when he saw that. So Ling's coming in, nibbling away at the hatch. Um, eight Ling's coming out from Tanner. Four, two on the way now. Should be able to hold this off easy peasy. Um, Kenny, on the other hand, getting a Bane that's halfway done. And that's going to be his choice of punishment here. We make this sound like an S and M thing. Well, then it is a good choice in this situation. You're all about punishment, aren't you? You kinky little boy. You. I like to punish greedy people. <laughs> Fine, if you want to do a superhero slant to it or whatever, that go ahead. Um, it's just how I roll. And he's actually kind of like dribbling in links here, and that's not helping. I mean, yeah, like, he's also gone Roach. That's kind of the, what slowed him down a little bit. Well, he, uh, he had to pump Roach. And he's got three of them coming out now, which should be enough to hold this off. The Banelings are warp morphing in right now. But I think they're going to be just behind where they need to be. Yeah, I mean... oh, Actually, this Roach gets caught out of position. That is a big loss. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh my gosh, Baneling. Huge oh, Baneling. Oh, focusing the, not the weak Roach. Oh my goodness. Tanner... Uh holding that when I thought he was in serious trouble. Yeah, well, if he doesn't wall off... Oh, it looks like it's just four links. Uh, yeah, Kenick knows he's kind of in an effed up position right now. Yeah, Third. he can't keep up with the production at this point uh, with just one hatch. Yeah, well, 13 drones to 8 drones. He's going to try to power his way through here. Um, two drones coming in, or two links coming in to do some light harass. Trying to force... Um, Tanner to show his units, and oh, coming from behind, I would go for the run by. I would, I would, okay. I think Kenick's a little more is, is intimidated by those number of roaches, and he shouldn't be at this point, and that's going to cost him the game. He's dropping his expansion now, which is good. Um, He's morphing in a couple more banelings uh, right above the natural hidden spot. Yeah. He's going to have to wait for that to be effective, though. Link's poking around here, seeing if he can find a hole in. No dice, though. Roach is doing a good job of plugging it up. Link's trying to dance around. Oh, no. Back's around. They're going to have to go out the hard way and they're gonna take quite a bit of losses here. And by losses, I mean they're all dead. Yep, and he traded uh, two Banelings for a drone. Yeah. Oh, he even, oh, even spent those ones up top. That's unfortunate. I look at the units tab. They're actually equal on drones, which is good. Um, 
Yeah, the trouble is Tanner's got uh, eight roaches and seven lings compared to the zero army of Kedna. Yeah, Kedna, or Kedna should say, F it, he's just going to go kill him. And he's about right. Uh, looking at production, it's just ling from Tanner, or ling from Kednik rather. And that's not going to stop this. I think we're about to see a very quick game one. Yeah, a little partial surround here, but the roaches should be able to handle it. And some lingering forces streaming in, and I think Kennex will be forced to tap out. Look at that, Tanner doesn't even want to kill the, the expo, he just wants to go for the pro. And yeah, that was a little bit of an awkward choice. Um, what do you think could have gone differently for Kennex there? Um, I think his expansion was late. Uh, that was a big problem for him. Like, he, uh, he went really hard on the pressure, but uh, the trouble with that is if you don't get the expansion up in time, even if you do a bit of damage, you're still sitting around there with one hatchery worth of production, even if you're caught up in drones, and you're just kind of like, well, crap, where do I go from here? Yeah, exactly. So you try to drop your own hatch, but it doesn't kick in in time, and then this happens. Um, I mean, on top of that, he, he could have gone for a Ling by into the main at a couple points, possibly. It's just, it's an awkward situation when you don't do enough damage to the hatch first, and you don't hatch first yourself. Exactly. 